what's going on everybody i am jb and i'm back with another video on my way to drop off these pallets as usual and if you can see in the corner there i got me some fishing poles because i plan on doing some fishing when i get off work today i may record i may not I plan on doing some bass fishing yeah it's been a while since I did some bass fishing. Been a few months. I've been on the catfish lately. Loving those catfish. But uh I missed that fight of the bass and so it's time to it's time to stop neglecting them and show them a little attention too, you know? So anyway, I want to make this video to do a look to talk about something a little different than what we've been talking about lately with the dreads and stuff like that. And you know, as this channel is just simply I am JB um then it's not just a lock channel even though majority of my content on here is about my locks which they're doing good by the way <laughs> um but yeah so i want to talk about something that I, i've accomplished this year so far that i've been really really working hard towards the reason why i've been getting these pallets as often as i have and and really hustling as hard as i've been is i've been really trying to get out of debt guys and i am thankful to announce that as of now i am debt free i am debt free i owe nobody anything but to love them and that's as the as the word says and so i'm thankful of that man it took a long time and to be honest with you guys i it ain't like i had tens of thousands of debt this this so far right here um i did before um i've i've had like twelve thousand dollars worth of debt at one point but over the past seven years i paid off a lot of it it took a long time that, that's seven years of not being consistent and making minimal payments and not really trying to attack the debt you know and not budgeting properly and everything else and so i i paid the price for a lot of that and so um but i got serious about it last year i was like man i'm a, I'm a budget that i'm gonna get on my budget um i had clear like seven grand and i was like man i only have like four grand left and i needed to like like man four thousand dollars like come on man i can take care of this and so i just had to get on it with my budgeting so i started budgeting better and i've been using this uh this app called every dollar before that i was doing an excel spreadsheet which i think is still good like you use the excel spreadsheet and like just be uh consistent and um disciplined about it but the every dollar app was something that was suggested to me by a good brother of mine and and man, I've loved it ever since. Um, so I have been following this debt snowball method. You know, um, I found that it works best for me. I know there are people who find other ways of going about knocking out their debt, but it worked for me. And so that's what I did. But anyway, I just want to talk about that, guys. Man, the, 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 the importance it is to, to pay your debts. You know, I understand there are some debts we're going to have. Like if you're, uh, if you're buying a home, you're going to have that loan. Uh, that home loan unless you just got buku money and you can just pay outright for a house most likely you're going to get a mortgage that's debt um i know sometimes you be in a hard bind and you got to go get in debt to get a car you know and uh so you have a car though you know but man if you know this truck thankfully like the car i had i had paid it off in uh 2016 i had paid my car off that i had and then man like <laughs> few it lasted a few more years that car gave me everything it had but then it broke down and uh, thankfully my dad had this truck laying around like this truck is something i knew eventually i'll end up getting from him and so but because my car broke down he went ahead and gave me the truck and so i've had this truck ever since so i don't owe any car notes or nothing like that you know and um but i was glad to know that i paid off my car prior to it breaking down you know so i ain't owe anything on it for years so that was that was good and um but yeah so anyway so i understand you have, may have to get a car note and all that kind of stuff like that and, and you know stuff like that you gotta have so i get it but man if, if all possible guys like that consumer debt credit cards and stuff like that man like if you can if you can pay cash for it man do it you know i understand a lot of people like uh, a lot of people like to work the system as far as trying to build a credit score so they they'll use a credit card then pay it off and use it and pay it off so it just builds the score and so i get it i understand you know but um just make sure if you're gonna do it be disciplined with it you know just discipline with it don't you know don't fall off from it because that that that'll add up quick you get complacent 
But anyway, I just want to share that with you guys. I'm, I'm excited. I'm happy. You know, it's, it's good to wake up in the morning, not stressed about, man, I got to make sure I pay this or how I'm going to do this and, you know, what am I going to take care of with this? And so now just regular life things, you know what I'm saying? Just making sure I, I got food in the home. I got a place to stay. You know, uh, my boys, when I when I have them, they, they take taken care of and it's, it's good to go, man. Like, I have no complaints. Uh, God is good. You know, he's good. He's faithful. Even when I was faithless. So, yeah. So, I just want to share it with you guys, man. Uh, I just want to encourage you as well if you're doing that. If you're working on getting your debt or if you're discouraged that you can't do it. Look, you can do it. No matter how much you make. You may not make a lot. But it's okay. There's things you can do. There's, there's hustles you can do. Legal hustles that you can do to make some extra cash. And what I like about pallets is that when I got this truck, this is instant cash. Like This is cash in my hand. And so from there, it's either going to the bank account or it's going in the wallet. <laughs> you know, either or. But it's going in the budget. I'm budgeting that. You know, I know how much I'm going to make from this. And, I'm all, and I've already got it budgeted. So I already got a plan for it. I know where every dollar is going. Like the every dollar app. You know where every dollar is going. So anyway, just want to share that with you guys, man. Remember, I'm JB. Jesus is the way. Peace out.